So, what would you do if your fursuit wasn't just a fursuit? What if they were their own unique person? And what if their survival depended on you? What would you do? Well, I wound up in this particular predicament. This is our story. In 2017, I let this odd little blue fox into my life. He literally showed up on my porch, a broken shell of who he was, and since his arrival, we've lived together. We've learned a lot from each other. We've had our ups and our downs, but throughout everything, we've managed pretty well. So, tell me honestly, what's it like living with Kit? Um, well, it's fun usually, but, well, there's a lot of rules. Um, like, 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 um, when Kit's recording, uh, or when he's live streaming, I'm not allowed to knock on the door. And it feels weird for me, because, um, if there's a room in the house I can not, I'm not allowed to go in, so, um, that and Kit kind of, uh, decided to, to, to um, tell me that, uh, I'm not allowed to have chocolate until I'm older. No. Um, I don't know why. It tastes so good, though. <laughs> I, I, I can't help it sometimes, and I sneak a little bit. Um, that and it can get a little bit lonely, I guess. Um, Kit's working, usually. He, uh, well, he's, he, he's usually busy. A lot of the early days of us living together were a challenge, to say the least. It was a struggle to learn about each other, about each other's needs, and set down ground rules. There were miscommunications and misunderstandings, but eventually we managed to make things work. So, what do you like to do? Any hobbies you enjoy? Uh-huh. Um, well, I, I really like to read. Um, I I've got a lot of books on the shelf over there, and, um, well, I, I, I like to read. Um, I also like to play with my toys. Um, I, I like building things. Uh, most of the toys I have are things that were, uh, like, um, well, a good example is I have a toy fox that's a robot, I guess. Um, and it was, he was really fun to put together. Um, I also liked, well, used to like going outside, but, um, well, I, I don't go outside very much anymore because, well, um, there was this mean guy uh, about a year and a half ago who decided that he didn't like me because I wasn't human, so, um, he kind of attacked me, and he broke my jaw. That's actually kind of why my, uh, jaw's a little crooked, and I, I, I know my jaw's a little crooked. Um, I guess I'm a little self-conscious about it sometimes. Frost is usually a fairly quiet individual. He's actually a lot more independent than most people realize, too. He practically takes care of himself. Now, I wouldn't have realized this when he showed up at my doorstep, but apparently he's a lot younger than most people realize. As of recording this, he's only about 11 years old. So, do you like living here? Have there been any issues? Um, a, a couple, yeah, I guess. Um, I, I mean, Kit has scolded me a couple times, but that's also because I kind of broke the rules. Um, aside from that and the attack that broke my jaw, um, not really, I guess. I, I mean, we don't live in the greatest neighborhood, but... 
really don't mind living here. It's a lot of fun being able to spend time with Kit. And, um, well, he, he treats me pretty well. Um, <laughs> he actually goes out of his way to bring me things like uh, my foxy treats. So, that's a thing. And he's helped me get all of the stuff that I need to, uh, well, keep my fur clean, which, trust me, it's not easy. Um, I, I tend to take at least one or two showers a day, so, um, and even then I kind of smell a little funny sometimes. Um, but, otherwise, well, yeah, I, I actually really do like living here, so... I don't know. Um. We've lived together for just about two years now. It hasn't really been easy on either of us. It's taken us both a long time to adjust. There was a moment, though, when he first came into my life that I realized just how much he was going to depend on me. Now? I can't really imagine where either of us would be if we'd never met. 